Welcome to another vlog. We went to the Bears Packers game this past weekend. And yeah, I know the Bears lost, but I'm also not a Packers fan, so whatever. Um, we live so close to Soldier Field and I realized, oh my God, we have never been to a Bears game, which is crazy. We lived here for three years. So I was able to get Reese and I club seats to this game. And when I tell y'all, the seats were fire. The seats were so fucking fire, like crazy. I am such a huge fan of football. So we had just walked into the stadium. We walked in with everyone and I just loved the energy and I was so excited and kind of wanted to tailgate, but it's fine. Um, we walked in with everyone and just the energy in the parking lot was fire, you know? So I just had such a good time. Soldier Field was just so lit. Soldier Field was incredible and I was just so excited walking in. I just couldn't believe that I was going to an NFL game. I have been to an NFL game before. Reese has not though. So it was Reese's first NFL game. This was my first documented NFL game. <laughs> you know, cause I was an addict. Anyway, the reason why we got club seats was because Reese is um, old. <laughs> just kidding. Reese is the kind of guy that's like, do we park near the exit? What do you think? head out about the third quarter, beat the rush. Like, you know what I mean? Like he's such a dad and like growing older with this man is just so adorable. Like it's a free hat. What am I do not wear it? Like, have you seen those progressive commercials? That's literally Reese, you know? Oh, uh oh, paper tickets. We're not off to a good start. <laughs> <laughs> but like watch, like growing old with him is just, has been amazing. I know I'm only, I'm not old. Reese and I are like six years apart. I'm 32, he's 38, whatever. Um, there's a big difference there though. And like, he's such a dad, you know? No, okay. Anyway, um, the seats were so fire. They were so fire, but because they were club seats, I'm not even gonna lie, um, we were around a lot of older people, which is fine, fine, but the energy is different, you could tell. I wanna be, <laughs> I wanna sit with the locals that are probably gonna beat up a Packers fan. You know what I mean? Like, that's my vibe. <laughs> Reese's vibe is very different. So that's why I got club seats, because I knew like that's the vibe he wanted. Like, I want to see someone get their cheese wheel knocked off their head. Um, not that I'm condoning that kind of thing, but when you go to a game, like, it's serious. It's serious business, okay? And I would have vlogged it for you guys. <laughs> I'm not gonna fight anybody, but it happens. It always happens, especially with a rivalry like this. So anyway, the field was right freaking there. It was so close. I could have thrown something at Aaron Rodgers' head if I wanted to, not that I would, but I could have. So I was so excited that the field was right there. And even though the Bears lost, I didn't care because I like both of the teams. I like the Bears and I like the Packers. Side note, I'm really hoping Aaron Rodgers goes to the Steelers next year. I don't think any Steeler would mind if we had a Aaron on the team. Just saying. So man, when I tell you this was like the best weekend, I am so serious. So got to see the Bears score a couple of touchdowns and of course, you know, Packers beat us. Um, but that was still so amazing to see in person. We were on the Packers side of the field so I could see all the players and I was like super freaking excited about it. Um, and even though we lost, the energy on Soldier Field is just so fire, you know? And I had such a good time. There really is nothing like going to a game in person, whether it's college or professional, there's nothing like going to a game. The energy is just so different and the vibe is great and seeing it in real life is just like, I don't know, I'm such a big football fan that I was so excited to go and I can't believe it's taken us this long to go to Soldier Field. So yeah, super exciting. Then after the game, I stayed behind and I watched A.A. Ron do his, <laughs> do his um, interview for after the game. Um, and what's so funny is like he got booed going out of the stadium and I just think they're a little too hard on old A.A. Ron. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna say that every single time. His name is A.A. Ron. Blake Balake. <laughs> if you know, you know. Um, so watching his after game interview and then hearing him get booed as he's walking out, I just felt so bad for him. You know, like damn bro, 
damn, they don't like you here. Like this rivalry is crazy when everyone booed you off of the field. But I wanna be with those people that are booing. I'd probably boo him too. If I was around everyone that was booing him, I would just think, damn, okay, that, this is what we're doing. <laughs> it's Chicago, I'm wearing a Bears jersey. I don't have a death wish. Um, so after the game, we walked out and Soldier Field is really awesome. They had, you know, the statue of someone, I'm not exactly sure. Everyone was taking pictures around the guy, so I wanted to record him too. And then I finally got to see cops on horses. And for whatever reason, I think cops on horses is like the strangest thing, you know? Like, what, what do you do exactly? You know, my only reference for like cops on horses, like, yeah, you see them in New York City. Um, you see them here in Chicago sometimes. This is the, my first sighting of a cop on a horse. But like, if there's really an emergency situation, I'd rather be in a car. You know what I mean? It's like cops on bikes and cops on horses. I feel like can't really do that much, but I love horses. So of course, I'm like an eight year old. When I see a horse, I'm like, oh my God. Side note, I'm kind of like that with dogs too. Like I'm such a weirdo that when I see dogs, I just like smile at them. Am I just a complete basket case? Does anyone else smile when they look at dogs? It's just me. Okay, awesome. Speaking of dogs, I saw this guy and he had his Bears jersey on. He's so adorable. He's such a little cutie pie. Reese and I took about a thousand pictures and I'm telling you, it was just such a good day. It was such a good Sunday. And I wish I could go to the Bears Steelers game. Um, I think it's like November 8th. Um, it's Monday night football though. So Monday night is a little bit harder for my family because the kids are in school and Reese has work and it would just be a little bit challenging like to get down there and man, traffic is rough. Traffic is really rough in Chicago on a Sunday after the Bears have played. So um, it just would be a little bit too hard for our family. I beat the Seahawks last night. I'm gonna take that. So if you live by an NFL stadium, go. Doesn't matter what seats you have, go. Just go to the game. If you think football is boring because you're watching it on TV, go to a stadium, give it a chance. Football is just, oh, it's just my heart. It's my favorite sport. I like basketball okay. Um, like I would go to a basketball game in person. Baseball, I'm not, I'm not really a baseball fan. My dad growing up is such a huge sports buff. He can name you all the stats from every team in the history of ever. Um, huge, huge sports fan. For me, I love football. That is my sport. Uh, I like basketball. Baseball, bruh. Baseball's too long. It is, baseball's too long. If you have a game, and the word stretch is in that game. It's too long. Seventh inning stretch? Y'all gotta get up and stretch because everyone is bored because this is too long. Shorten it, man. I'm just saying. Baseball, meh. I've been to baseball games. They're boring. And the hot dogs aren't that great because I'm picky. Anyway, um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I hope you enjoyed the clips. I had such an amazing time. I had so much fun filming it. Um, what's cool about downtown Chicago at an NFL game is no one gives a shit that you're filming. Um, so kind of after the game, Reese and I were waiting for our Uber and just people watching and hanging out. And um, it was just such a good weekend. I know I've said that like a thousand times, but we had such a good time. We were hanging out and talking to some drunk people because they were just, <laughs> they were just so much fun. Um, and they were having a great time. It was lit outside the subway off of Michigan. I'm just saying, we had a great time. <laughs> also, it made me realize why I don't drink anymore. You know what I mean? Cause they were, you know, you know when you get so drunk that you just start to lean over, your body's just like, no, we're, we're going, we're going, we're, we're going. <laughs> That's why I don't drink anymore. Um, but the guys were so fun. Everyone was just in such a good, such a good mood, except for traffic, which was hostile. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I will see you in my next one, which I think is trying on more wedding dresses. Huh, <sighs> this is a nightmare. Nightmare to try to find a black wedding dress. You wouldn't think it would be, um, but I can't really shop for wedding dresses. It's gonna be like a prom dress or something. And also I give up. <laughs> I love you guys. Be sure to smash that subscribe button if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one.